There's four Clanton cowboys that killed the Wells Fargo guard. You turn them loose? Had no other choice. Ran into a Clanton ambush. Shotgun was hurt. You yourself said that he might have died. Yeah. Well, get a posse together. As many as you need to catch them. Doctor, those men are guarded by a hundred top guns. I'll not have amateurs killed, and they would be fighting the Clantons. What? Doctor? John. Wyatt doesn't want to use a posse. Is there any other way, Wyatt? Yes, sir. Go after him one at a time. You'll never make it alone. Doc, I don't want men to die backing me up. Well, that's very commendable, Wyatt. It does your credit, but it's uh, quite unrealistic. I'm going to run an editorial asking for volunteers for a posse. Well, I can't stop you, but I'm going to get those killers my way. Wyatt, you're a fool. Now, you listen to me. You take a posse out there, you're going to have a running gunfight for miles. You can count on at least a dozen men getting killed or wounded. <laughs> and legend of Wyatt Earp, starring Hugh O'Brien. Wyatt's refusal of the citizen's posse threatened to get him into serious trouble. No peace officer on the frontier could afford to let prisoners escape, and Marshal Earp had to recapture four men guarded by a hundred guns. Wyatt must do it alone or lead a big posse into battle with the Clanton gang. And he couldn't know the infamous 10% ring at Tucson had ideas of their own. You haven't told me the idea yet, Ben. Drag a man all the way to Tucson. You'll be told, Mr. Clanton. Dan Pretty and the boys are waiting. They want to talk to you first. Hmm. Well, I ain't surrendering for no necktie party in Tombstone. Worst idea you fellas come up with yet, and let me tell you... Hold on, Clanton. Keep your temper. Temper? I'm as mad as a Gila lizard with a bullet in his tail. All I'm right, ready now, to... that'll do. Sit down and listen. Drag a man all the way to Tucson. Uh, Washington and Governor Fremont have signed the order creating Cochise County. Let me see them papers. You'll have to surrender your boys. After all, we can't have a scandal in our new county the first week. I told you I wouldn't let my men hang. They won't hang. They won't even get a jail sentence. Well, why don't you say so? What we're trying to tell you is they're going to be fine. You have our word for it. You wouldn't doubt our word, would you? Well, <laughs> you never lied to me yet, Daniel. I'll tell the boys to turn themselves in. <laughs> fine. <laughs> <coughs> oh, uh, ask Johnny Bean to step in, will you? Oh. Good morning, gentlemen. You've been made sheriff of Cochise County. Ah. Uh, it went through. Yeah, I told you it would. How many witnesses is Wyatt Earp against the Clanton Cowboys? Just one. Jake Devers, the stage driver. Where is he? Under guard in a hotel. You see to it that he doesn't testify. But, gentlemen, are you asking me to... Oh, shut up, Ben. You don't have to do the job yourself. Hire the job done. Well, yes, sir. Gentlemen. Men wanted. Four Clanton cowboys murdered the guard of a Wells Fargo stage last week. Marshal Wyatt Earp will lead a posse to arrest these men. The editor of the Epitha has signed his name as first volunteer. All able-bodied men for law and order will sign their name. I'll sign mine. I'll sign too. Uh, that's okay. Well, I don't know. I, you know, this is not the back work. It's one of the same thing. Howdy, Wyatt. Oh, hi, Johnny. Where you been? Tucson. Meet the new sheriff from Cochise County. Hey, congratulations. Well, you can hang on to this. You could have had the job. Oh, I doubt it. That 10% ring, they uh, wouldn't stand for it. 
You can still be my chief deputy. Well, I'll have to kind of think about that for a while. By the way, there's your first job. Job? Yeah, Mr. Clem is organizing a posse to go after the Clanton gunman. Since Marshal White has no jurisdiction in the county, it'll be your duty as a new sheriff to lead him in. Oh, that won't be necessary. I've already sent word for Clanton's boys to give themselves up. You mean uh, Pony Deal and the others are just going to ride in here and surrender? It's all arranged. Let me buy you some coffee while we talk about the chief deputy job. I'll be glad to have one with you later, but right now I better tell Mr. Clum. No use in having a posse now. No coming. Yep. Now you say John Behan's going to be sheriff for this new county? That's right. And he's going to have the Clanton men surrender themselves. Is That's that what he said. Well, it sounds rotten to me, White. I wonder where the fix is. Well, he couldn't have fixed Judge Spicer. No, that's true enough. He uh, talked to you about your legal status? Well, I turned down the job as sheriff. He offered me the job of his chief deputy. Well, that settles it. I'm going to call a meeting of the Citizens Protective Committee, White. I've known Johnny Bean in Tucson. I knew him again in Prescott. He's ingratiated himself here by helping to raise the hospital fund. But I think he's a member of the 10% ring. So do I. You what? Well, I don't know, Miss Nelly. I think we ought to wait and see. Why, aren't you going to be his chief deputy? No. I'm not a deputy sheriff anymore. The only jurisdiction I have is in federal cases. Yes, that's right, isn't it? Then what can we do? I'd say we get Mr. Clum appointed acting mayor. Oh, no. Now, Randall is under charges of malfeasance. He left town yesterday. Then the other members of the city council can't object much if you, doctor, and Miss Nellie insist. That's right. I don't think they'll want to expose themselves. Well, now, wait a minute, Miss Nellie. That's, uh, that's nice of you to say, but... Uh, well, I'm a newspaper man, not a politician. I can't be mayor. John, this is an emergency. He'll only have to serve until we can hold an election. The idea is for you to appoint Wyatt, Deputy City Marshal, under Marshal White. Well, that's a good idea. It's more than just a good idea. It's our only defense against being. Well, I've got to get back to the office. I move the meeting adjourned. Uh, right. Just a minute, Doctor. I think uh, my appointment ought to be kept secret for a day or so. And if Bean is a member of the 10% ring, well, he may show his hand. I'm for that. Well, I agree. Right. Miss Nelly? Yeah, you're allowed. Good night, Mr. Good night. Good night, John. Good night. Good night, Good night. 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 Good well, I've uh, decided against that, Johnny. Why? Well, you're a politician and I'm not. We, uh, well, I don't think we get along. How do you figure? You know, there's one thing you haven't told me. How come old man Clanton would surrender his boys to you? A lawyer advised it. They don't think you have a case. You agree with them? Well, it's your case. I wasn't sheriff when the killing happened. I'm just helping out. If you'd throw in with me, we could split $40,000 a year. Fees and bounties. That's a lot of money. Well, I better check on Doc. He's been in the poker game most of the night. See you later. Hand up, Gibbs. Where's your money? Most of us laying right there in front of you two fellers. Let's let him off the hook, Doc. Well, Doc and I has been whips on you. Three-handed poker always leads into temptation. Well, you wouldn't cheat me, would you, Doc? Bet your life I would. Well, if I don't take all. I'd cheat Wyatt, too, if he didn't know so much about poker. Speaking of the deacon. Lock it again. Well, gentlemen. 
Johnny Behan as our new sheriff of our new county. You're joshing. No, nope. official. Is he wearing a gun? He said old man Clanton is sending pony deal and the others in to surrender. What's the fix? I don't know. We better get Mr. Devers over to another hotel. You're our only witness to the murder. We'll put him over at Miss Cashman's. Well, that'd be a waste of energy. I'll go shoot Johnny Bean myself. That isn't going to help. I never did like Bean. This is the time we got to go start shooting, Wyatt. I've told you that and shotguns told you. We should have killed Pony and his boys without trying to bring them here for a trial they don't deserve. Now, wait a minute. No fool's play, Doc. Bean's wearing a star this time. That's right, Doc. They'd hang you for sure. Maybe I can insult Johnny into drawing first. No, they'd still hang you. Well, maybe I was wrong about Bean. We could have misjudged him. It ain't likely. Here comes Pony and his boys. One reason they'd surrendered to Bean. Are you satisfied now he ought to be killed? He isn't worth hanging for. Mr. Gibbs, we're going to move Mr. Devers. I ain't a scared, Wyatt. Well, I am. Doc, you give my hand. I want to talk to those Clintons. Well, Ben, don't say anything out here. Inside, quick. I want to know, has Devers been killed yet? Not so loud. Old man Clanton told us you'd have him killed by now. I know, I know, Tony. You wait in here. You've got nothing to worry about. You'll be told the whole thing later. All right. But it better be good. Oh, Wyatt. I just locked up the men you were after. Well, thank you kindly. Any objection if I talk to him? Not at all. Help yourself. have known you'd hang. Somebody promised you an easy sentence or an acquittal. We don't tell you what our lawyers are going to prove. I see an alibi. Well, I guess that could be rigged. I wish you luck. Well? They've rigged an alibi. Would you do anything about that? Great Scott, why would I? I'm trying to believe in you, Johnny, but you got those boys in here too easy. Maybe they do have an alibi. The stage driver could have been mistaken. No, he couldn't. They didn't even bother to keep on their masks. You trying to get me mixed up in this? I did you a favor when I persuaded old man Clanton to send those fellows in. Why would Clanton do you a favor? Lots of reasons. I'm the sheriff now. I collect taxes. This is a new county. The old man doesn't know how he stands. And I won't take an insult from you or anyone else. Well, if the shoe fits, Johnny, you call me out. What good would that do? You're faster with a gun. But if you killed me, they'd hang you. Look, I tried to make you my... Chief Deputy. And I tried to be friends, Wyatt. I tried too. I needed friends in this town. Everybody rise. Circuit Court of Cochise County, now in session. Judge Spicer presiding. Order in the court. 
Mr. B in bringing the prisoners. You men are charged with the murder of Tony Briscoe, a Wells Fargo guard. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Earp, I believe you have an eyewitness. Yes, sir. They're bringing him over from the hotel. just winged him. He might have been able to tell us who hired him to have it done. It would have cost him his life to do it, just as it cost Jake Devins. Well, now we haven't got a case. You better toughen up, Wyatt. This is a shooting town. I've done the best I could, Wyatt. I called to him to halt. Besides, it ain't easy to wing a man with a 10-gauge slug. Well, what's done is done. I'll have to go tell Judge Spicer. Take care of him. Our witness, Mr. Devers, has just been murdered. And his guards killed the murderer. But if the court will grant a continuance, I'm sure I can find the man or the men who had this done. He never had no case against us. And now he admits it. Sit down. Do you have any information which might lead to the men who hired the murderer? Not right now, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Mr. Earp. The court cannot hold anyone without reasonable evidence. It is this court's unpleasant duty to dismiss the case. Well, Doc, the judge turned them fellers loose. Where's Johnny Bean? Oh, with that fancy new office of his in the courthouse, I reckon. Mr. Gibbs? It is my considered judgment that Johnny B and hired that killer. Yeah, mine too. But we can't hardly prove that. This is my judging jury. You go tell Johnny B and that I'm gonna shoot him on sight. And you just try that and they're gonna hang you. Yeah, I know. I know. They'll hang me. But I haven't got much time left anyway. And I don't know a better way for a man to die. Doc, you're a might sad. Yes. I'll clear that up right now. Oh. It's just like clear, cool water running through a slightly fevered brain. Mr. Gibbs, you're a man of the frontier. How long do you think it'll be before being hires another gun to bushwhack wired? Yeah, it's got me worried, Doc. That feller today had one of them magnifying sights on his rifle. Picked off poor old Jake right betwixt us. Mr. Gibbs, we're wasting precious time. We better get Johnny Bean out of this world right now before I have another coffin spell. Now, why it ain't going to favor you killing him? We'll present Deacon Earp with a fait accompli. A fait what? Fait accompli. That's French for killing first and telling Wyatt later. Well, are you going to present the challenge, or do I have to expend precious time? No, no, you just keep your seat. I'll go tell that runny hog. Mr. Gibbs, you're a prince. A prince of royal blood, sir. Too bad. Oh, it's worse than too bad. 
Well, all we can do now is try to link John B in with a 10% ring. Here's your deputy marshal's badge. Pin it on. Well, there's no point in warning Johnny what we suspect. We'll just let him get overconfident. We'll keep this hidden for a while. Yeah, well, that's right. What? You better come quick. What's wrong now? Doc and Johnny Bean are going to have a shootout over in front of the courthouse. Now, I favored it at first, but the more I got... Oh, that feller sure can move, can he? Come on out, Sheriff. I want to see the kind of peace officer the ring sent to Tombstone. Bean, I said come out and come heal. Now, just a moment, Dr. Holliday. I want the witnesses to observe that you're drunk and you challenge me to a gunfight. I'll give you the first shot. You draw first. No, Doc. Go on inside. I'll cool him off. You'd better. If he shoots at me, he'll hang. And you'll be dead. That's a fair exchange. He means it. Go on inside. I want him arrested for threatening me. I'm an officer of the law. Get inside like I told you. Stay there and shut up. All right, but I want the records to show that I didn't fear him. Doc, you need some sleep. You regret this to your dying day. All right, all right. He's thrown in with the Clantons. We can't prove that. Deacon and Tombstone, you can't prove anything. You just shoot on a reasonable suspicion. Mr. Clanton. Now you and your son are going to jail. On what charge? Shooting at a peace officer and galloping horses down Allen Street. Well, I ain't going. No? No. Let's go. All right. Then what happened, Wayne? Well, in Judge Spicer, find him $50 a piece. Sentenced him to a night in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, a $50 fine certainly isn't important, but that night in jail, that, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> Clanton's loose? I had no choice. Their lawyer came in with a writ of habeas corpus. What do you mean you had no choice? They were sentenced by Judge Spicer. You could have kept them for 24 hours. You know that. All right. I know that. Well, I know something else, finally. You belong to the Clantons in the 10% ring. Mr. Bean, among other things, you're a pipsqueak and a weakling. You can't talk to me that way. Why not? I'm the sheriff. You'd better be careful. No, you be careful. Now, you've gone too far today. You had my witness killed, got Pony Deal released, and now you let my prisoners go. Three victories in one day. That's too many for a new sheriff. Now, don't you ever give me proof or I'm gonna toss you in jail. And don't go for that gun. In your honor, my trigger finger just might slip. country, the old wild west country, he made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt! 